Welcome to the future of energy. In this short video, we will run through how to use the SOFAR Solar Portal and take best advantage of the information it gives you. We are going to show you how to look at the information on a laptop or computer. If you wish to do this on a mobile phone, you can click on the QR code and this will automatically download to your phone. Going back now to the computer version, you need to enter in your search box here home.solomanpv.com forward slash login and that will bring you to this page. You will have been given by us a username and password. Click username and enter the appropriate username here and the password here. Then click login. This will bring you to the overview page. Firstly, at the top of this page, you'll see user manual. By clicking on the download here, you can see all of the technical information about the equipment that's been installed in your property. We now look at what's on the page. First of all, the total production. This is the amount of energy produced by the system since it was originally installed. As you can see with this one, it's been running for nine days. In addition, it shows the amount of energy that's been sent to the grid. This is what's known as export. And if you make an application for an SEG payment, SEG, then this is what you will be paid for. At the end of this row, you will see CO2 prevention. This is to indicate the number of trees saved as a result of using your system. You can also see the data overview panel. This is available for today and for the month to date and gives you information on the total production and the total consumption. By clicking here you can change from today to this month. We can look at the performance in more detail on the 24 hour curve. It comes a standard set up to show the production power from the system and the consumption power of your property. But you can look at other information as well. By selecting the drop down box, you can click on various pieces of information. If you have a battery attached to your system, or if your system is a battery only system, you should select SOC. This stands for state of charge. As you can see, the graph has now been overlaid with the information on the battery state. In this particular case, at midnight, there was still some 48% left in the battery. And that was used by the property during the morning until we reached the low point of 26% at around about 11 o'clock. Thereafter, generation from the PV was being pushed back into the battery and charging the battery. And currently this stands at 47% and rising. So let's look at where the energy is going. By scrolling down, 
you can find the flowchart. This is the simplest way to understand how your system is working. The symbols on here are the PV panels on the roof, your grid supply coming into the house, the battery installed in your system where appropriate, and here the consumption of your property. At the moment on this system we are producing 1.03 kilowatts. This is going as you can see to the inverter which is sending some of that energy to the battery. So currently 900 watts is being sent to the battery to increase its state of charge. Some of the generation from the solar panels is going to pick up the load from the house. A small amount of energy, only 10 watts, is going to the grid and this is sufficient to give the current transformer installed on your installation information to tell the battery what to do. As you can see, you are not, in this particular case, taking in any energy from the grid. There is a useful panel on the right, which gives you information about the weather condition in your particular area. You can look at the information historically by scrolling to the bottom of the page you can see again here production and consumption. On, on each of the days for which there is information you can see for this system production was greater than consumption. You can select the month or the year for this information and you can change this here to select the appropriate month if you wish to go back and look at what the system did historically. Again, there are various pieces of information that you can add to this graph, for example, grid feeding. And here you can see on this particular day, which was a fairly sunny day, there was around 2.7 kilowatt hours of energy sent to the grid and that is the energy that you would receive remuneration for through the SEG scheme. One thing to just explain about the 24-hour curve you can also go back to get daily information. Notice on the generation curve, the one in blue, the jagged nature of the curve. This is indicative of cloud cover during the day. On a bright, sunny summer's day, you would expect this curve to be a fairly gentle, continuous line. Just a few more pieces of information. On the left hand side, you have the opportunity to look at alerts. In this particular case, there is only one, which would have been the day of installation, when it shows a warning because the system was offline. That generally means that it's disconnected from the Wi-Fi in your property. If this does occur, you can reset your router and it should automatically reconnect. Finally, plant detail. This tells you about your system. It gives you your plant name and it gives you information about its location and the type of system 
and the size of the system. This is a very quick insight into the portal. I hope you enjoy many years use of your system and thank you for choosing GET.